Hey everybody, this is Firegun522 here with my 11th tutorial. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a train that moves on a track and how to make an elevator that also moves on a track. So it's pretty much a tutorial on how to use the track train. Okay, so from our source SDK, go ahead and choose Hammer Editor, load it up. Once you load it up, uh, load up your map that you want to add the train into. I already have this little sample map I've made, and I'm going to release a. Um, I'm going to release it on the video in the description so you can download it, look at it, and do whatever. And so, pretty much what I did is I set up a little example here. I don't need that. Okay, so from here, let me start with <clears throat> how to make the train move on an elevator, or, my bad, make the train move on a track. If you made your own little track here, like I did, uh, you can see it's like its own little path thing, you go through here, you hit the end. So pretty much, what we do is we need to get an entity called a tr um, path underscore track. Uh, let me go ahead and show you right here. Over here, path, track. And so you just place that down, you name it, and you're good. Okay, so from this little path track, we have a name for it. I'm going to actually change the name to train track. Because that would make more sense. Okay, so once we have our little path track here, we want it to be above the, um, the actual bottom of it. And so, since, like, I have in the little... Okay, actually, no. Okay, the thing that you want to move the path track on is called a function track train. So pretty much, you make a block... Move it. Make a block right here. Okay, you hit control T, make it a funk track train. You hit apply, and you got all these settings to go through. I'm not going to go through all of these mainly because, I mean, come on, there's a bunch. So pretty much you just need to set the name. Uh, the, the first stop target, which is going to be the path track right here. So pretty much you go right here, little eyedropper thing, and click on it. But I'm not going to use that. Uh, max speed, all this good stuff. Uh, distance between the wheels, so pretty much you can see how I have wheels on here. Well, distance is like 64. And so you can adjust that. Height above the track. Um, that's how high it is off the... Um, off the little rails. And then if you go into our flags, you can change the um, some of the game flags that are in here. Let's no X rotation, which is pretty much, I think, um, sideways or around. It's like you can't turn it left or right, but you can turn it up and down. Uh, passable, all this good stuff. So I don't want to keep that. Now, um, our little track, our little path track here. Um, uh, instead of having to place down a brand new entity and then changing the name, what we could do is you can select it, like left click on it, hold down Shift, and drag it. You see how it, I have two of them now? Watch, I'll move it up here. Yeah, where's the center at? I'll just put it right here. And I'll unclick, but keep holding Shift. And what it did is it made a new one, but if we go into the properties, the name is a train track, or train underscore track. Like the first one is train underscore track, this is train underscore track one. Pretty simple. Okay, so what happens is once we set this to go on there, and it'll move, well, let me make sure we got this, because I changed the name. So we can go into the flag. I don't want this to be blocked by players at all, so... Okay. So, pretty much, once you compile and you have all your settings right and whatnot, and you set it to run it, 
like with a button like I did up here. You press this button, it'll make it go. This is the outputs. It's gonna start forward. <sighs> Once you start it, and then it'll go towards the little track train, and then it'll stop because there's no more. Okay, so that's pretty much how you make a train. Uh, you gotta move it along the path every time it turns, unfortunately. Okay, now over here I'm gonna show you guys how to make an elevator real quick. What we're gonna need, we're gonna need another path track. Just place that right here. Bam. Gonna name it. Let's see, what was I? What did I have this? Elevator underscore track. Um, so pretty much, we set up our little path track for our elevator, we need to make it go up to here and then stop, since I don't want it to go down, and then we need to make this a, what is it, a function track train. Okay, you set the name, you set the first stop target to elevator track. And it'll start there, and it'll move up to there when you turn it on with a button. It's so right here. It'll start it. That's pretty much it. There's not really much to get with this tutorial. I'm sorry if it doesn't really make any sense. Pretty much, you set a path track where you want the function track train to move. And it will follow along that track. Um... Sometimes your entities aren't rotated right, that's why this train is sideways. Because if it's facing the right direction, then it will like turn sideways for some reason. I don't want that. So, you just gotta rotate it. If you have any questions about this tutorial, if it doesn't make any sense, please say something. I may remake this if I get some more information. I don't know. Uh, I will include this map, or the other version, the right version, with all the stuff in it into the um, in the video description. Check that out before you leave a comment. See if you understand it. If not, then post a comment. Alright, this has been FireGuy522 here with my 11th tutorial teaching you guys how to make a track train or end of elevator. Have fun. Don't burn yourself.